and took action. However, what would be another African-American student's view of how they're represented in the schools? Well, I bounced around schools a lot. Um, I didn't really feel left out because I went to pretty urban schools in Chicago. Meet Anthony Horde, a member of the St. Cloud State right, Pan-Africans right, right, right. Ally <laughs> student seat. You could say he admired Vermont's race to action. It was really cool that they were able to put that up in solidarity for only 18 black students. Is it better to make things flow the way they are or is it better to create waves? Is it better to be content with what is going on in the world or is it better to fight? I mean, a lot of people would say it's better to fight, but then what if the fight goes nowhere? What if the fight has pushbacks and creates backlash that, you know, moves us backwards? Then your fight was counterproductive. So do we act content? I usually, when people ask me where I'm from, I default to Chicago because if I say anywhere else, they won't believe me. But a lot of the schools I was going to in Chicago were either full of all Mexican people or all black people. Minnesota as a whole is like the great rehab for, for people from Chicago. Community has worked hard to bring diversity to the campus in many ways. Due to this hard work, the enrollment rate for students of color has multiplied by 5% in the last 10 years. Anthony Horde, a board member for the Council of African American Students, says. Real, we really break it down step by step, you know, being a minority here on this campus. And that's what we did yesterday. We uh, toured around, not just toured around some high school students like you usually see, but really gave them the college experience in a nutshell.